Before diving into the Python code, we're first going to take a look at what Python is. Now, Python is a general purpose, high level programming language. It's used in a wide variety of applications, and it can be found in many industries around the world. Python is a mature language that has evolved over the past 20 to 25 years. The advantages of Python are that it is powerful and it is fast. Now, when I say fast, I mean it's fast to create new programs or to modify existing programs. Because of the clear readable syntax, it's easy for new users or users who are opening up code that they may not have worked on in the past to quickly understand what is happening. Unlike languages such as C or Perl, where it's up to the designer or the coder to maintain good coding practices and style. With Python, this is a requirement in order for the programs to run. Python forces the user to write clean, readable code. It uses white spaces to define code blocks as opposed to other languages that require curly braces. Now, Python is a dynamic language. This means that everything happens at runtime, unlike C, which is compiled, and many of the properties are set during compile time. Python is also dynamically typed, which means a variable doesn't always have to stay one type. It may start out as an integer and then later become a string. In statically typed languages, such as C, this is not possible. If you define something as an integer, it will always be an integer. Because Python is an interpreted language, the code runs immediately. Now this goes back into fast. It allows for quick iterations and tests. This means you can modify your code and quickly run it without having to compile and link it. Python has full support for object-oriented programming. Now we will cover this more in detail as we get into classes and methods and other areas of object-oriented design. Thanks to Python's extensive standard libraries, Python generally requires a lot less coding. It's modular and allows for extensive code reuse. With Python, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Many of the common tasks that you will be required to do you just need to load in the modules and call the corresponding functions. Python is also portable. This means that code can be written on Windows and run on a different operating system, such as Linux. With languages such as C, which are compiled, you would need to compile the code on Windows and it would only run on Windows. If you wanted to move to Linux, you would first have to recompile the program on Linux before you'd be able to execute it. Python does have a couple disadvantages. Now this will depend on the requirements of your application. When compared to a compiled language, Python's execution speed is generally slower. For applications involving large data sets, complex math, it can generally be beneficial to use a compiled language. The second downside is protecting your code. Because Python is interpreted, it is very difficult to hide code from prying eyes. So if your application is proprietary and it's going to be shared with people outside of your organization, it's safe to say that if somebody wants to see the code and how it works, they will be able to. This is much more difficult when working with compiled languages. In general, though, the advantages of working with Python far outweigh the disadvantages 